Welcome to the YWCA Dayton. Come on in. So the YW has been here on the corner of 3rd and Wilkinson since 1913, but in Dayton since 1870. We have quite a few of our programs here on site, but we do also have three programs that really reside in other locations around the community. The first one is we operate the Domestic Violence Shelter in Pueblo the County. The other program that we operate at the YW that is actually located in Centerville is our Transitional Living Program. It's a two-year program for women as they move out of our domestic violence shelter and just need a little bit of that extra support before they're able to really transition into, depend into independence. So women and women with children reside out in Centerville. So here at the downtown location, we do operate what I would consider our three core programs. The first one is our domestic violence shelter. Attached to the shelter is our hotline. It's available 24-7, 365 for any women who are fleeing domestic violence and need that immediate contact to move into safety. They also provide on the hotline supportive listening and other services and referrals for any of the needs that a woman might have if she's experiencing any type of violence. The hotline is actually going to be relocated into this room. Currently it's up on the sixth floor in our shelter, um, but we're re re renovating this room <laughs> um, to provide them a little bit more of a dedicated space. Our Girls Inc. space. It is another one of our core programs here at the YWCA. And this is Malika. She is our Hello. teen advocate. So she's going to speak to you just a little bit about the program here in Girls Inc. Yeah, so our program is uh, called Girls Inc. For the most part, we do outreach out into the community, which means that we go out and we serve girls in Montgomery County. But we do have a group here in teen services. We meet every Tuesday night from 6 to 8 o'clock. And so tonight is kind of a good example of some of the stuff that we do. We're going to stuff um, Mother's Day cards with nail polish and decorate them and pass those Mother Day, Mother's Day cards to people um, in shelter here and shelter in other so places. This is the rest of the Girls Inc. area. We do have a computer lab space that they can utilize if they need to. And then in this back portion is really where we store a lot of the in-kind donations that we receive um, from really supportive members of our community. So we take donations of everything from you know, toiletries to household goods to school supplies because as the women and children move into both our shelter and our housing, they often come to us with very little to nothing and we're able to then really surprise them and give them all of those things as they come in and settle in and are able to kind of return to some normalcy in their life. The YW has um, two different populations that really live here. So SRO stands for single room occupancy. We also have women who live here who are part of our supportive housing. So these are all women who have transitioned out of homelessness for a wide variety of reasons um, and really have come to the YW to be stable. We have about 96 units, so at any one time, we probably have 85 to 90 women who live here really permanently. This space is our auditorium, so we do a wide variety of programming for the women in our housing as well as the women in our shelter. And you know whether that's life skills or support groups, whether that's community members who come in who do different, you know, more like fun social activities, but we're really able to provide women a wide variety of opportunities through the utilization of the space here, as well as we really have a wonderful team of clinical case managers who provide all of the women in our programs a lot of that really focused and intentional support that they need to become independent and stable. So this space is um, originally a pl playground, obviously, and we did have a child care that was in here at one point in time. One of the things that I personally really love about the YW is the fact that as an agency, we've been around for well over 100 years, but we've really remained dynamic to the needs of women in our community. So at different points in our history, we've operated a wide variety of different programming. And at one point, back in the 90s and 2000s, we did have a full child care in this facility. We're potentially looking to bring one back into the space, but for now, this space is really utilized by the children that live in our domestic violence shelter and the families that kind of come through our programs. So this is Hope's Closet. It's really where we organize and then distribute 
all of the clothing donations that come into the YW for both women and children. So all of the clothing donations that we have are really directly served, like this, lovely ladies donating right now, um, are used to directly serve the women in our program. So unlike some other organizations that do have sort of the resale shop uh, model, for us, almost all the items that we get, as long as they're in good condition, really go back to the women and children who live here. For, as I kind of mentioned with the food, but um, I think it's really important for our women who are coming into a domestic violence shelter, because many of them and their children are obviously fleeing, sometimes quite literally in the middle of the night, they just don't have a lot of resources. So this is a wonderful service that we're able to provide thanks to the generosity of the community, so that as women and families come in, we're able to you know, help them restart, help them get a wardrobe, help them you know, get food and get back on their feet as they then you know, look to sort of stabilize more financially and find a new place to live. We have our um, rapid rehousing program. So it really allows women who are both transitioning out of domestic violence situations, but also women who just experience homelessness to reach out to us and we have some services that assist with rental assistance and getting them back into their own places quickly versus coming through more of a shelter service and process. So our HCRP, um, Rapid Rehousing Program, is offices are located here, but obviously the people we serve are really across the community. This, this is our resource center. So while I've mentioned you know case management and some of the basic needs that we provide our ladies, we also really do try to ensure that they have access not just to the resources of the YW, but the resources of our community. This, this is our resource center. So while I've mentioned you know case management and some of the basic needs that we provide our ladies, we also really do try to ensure that they have access not just to the resources of the YW, but the resources of our community. So this is a space that we really utilize for a wide variety of activities. We have staff and volunteers who will come down here and man um, this office who then are here and available to assist women from everything from resume building to sort of therapeutic art, arts programming to life skills to financial literacy and then we also have you know here in the room a lot of information about a lot of different programs that other nonprofits and social services in our community offer so that we're really able to hopefully meet the needs or connect women to those resources that they need to really become you know successful and achieve their own individual goals. This is our Wilkinson side access. So for individuals who are interested in donating items, whether that's clothing or household goods or even you know dried and canned goods um, for food, for the food pantry, this is the, the way in which you would come in and access our, our organization and just pull up on the Wilkinson side. There's a doorbell, ring it, and someone will be right down to help you. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the YWCA Dayton. Thanks for watching. See you soon.